M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the STS 100 and 200 model. They look fantastic now that they've had the new waterfall feature added. We've been waiting for this really for years, but definitely for months as the USA versions had this in December and it's now, you know, March. But we've got it and it's working great, sounding great. We've got DMR, VHF, UHF, air band, marine band lovely color screen it's a proper scanner it will scan and record and, and uh, it's just endless functionality with this so i i thought i'd show the waterfalls or they they do have the normal scan mode if we just press scan there and scan here and they do work in a virtually identical way yes, as does I'm the from... turn that down push down at the top as does the sds 3600 which is sort of the black and white model of this who knows if that one will have the firmware. So in the USA, they just enter a zip code. It will load the state that they're in. Job done. They can scan. And they're very, very, you know, they're into uh, um, frequency ranges that we don't really use here. And the system that Uniden uses, you have favorites. So you have each favorite. Let's say you could call one favorite mode ham bands. And you have all the ham radio bands in there like two meters and 70 sems. And then you'll have another favorite, which could be the railway. Another favorite is the marine. Uh, another favorite could be air band. That's how it works. So it's groups of channels put into favorites. The, the functionality, it can feel like it's confusing. And I can set the time out so that doesn't come off actually, but I've just reset these back, back to factory. It, they can be confusing, but there are very simple ways of using these as well. You can just hold the frequency and you can just type in a frequency, you know, like so, enter and then enter again. And it will even give you the option to name it. Once you've named it, then it will just it will just save it for you and you back out and you've got a saved frequency. That's the sort of quick way of doing it. I like using the custom way. They call it custom search. And what you do there is go menu, go down to search for, enter, enter custom search. And then it starts to scan that we're on the CB band there and it will scan through that's air band. It goes two, three, all the way up to nine. And you can turn them off. If I say I don't want to listen to the air band, I will just press number two uh, and it will just stop it. And then, then I can put it, press it again and it brings it back. And you can change the mode if you press the button here. You can change AM, FM as well. Also, you've got this feature that Uniden like to use called close call. They've got it on both sets, close call there. Press the F here, close call. And that means if anyone, and there's different versions of close call, but if anyone, if a strong signal is received, it will override and you'll see it on the screen or you can set it so that it doesn't override if you're already listening to something and so much more. So I'll just quickly show you how to turn on the waterfall and then we'll call it a night for tonight. I've got way more videos on this tomorrow. So just press this as the function button here. Look, it's close call there, it's just found that station. If we press the function, uh, like so, actually the, men the menu button's here. Menu, turn it backwards here, a couple of clicks until you get to waterfall. And then start, and we're on the waterfall there. And on this one, you would go to menu, with the top knob, three clicks backwards, and then enter enter and we've started the waterfall and just to make sure when you do load the waterfall on the new firmware which does cost an extra 20 pound to buy you do need to use if you're using the e model radio you need to download the correct e version of the software otherwise you just get a black screen but you can see look at the different signals coming through that's probably my dmr hotspot in the day when we've got airplanes flying over we might have boats which are very near me i'm very near water here and then you might have a, uh, a CB or a truck drive past me. If I've got close call on, that will come through. They don't cover the HF bands, these devices. You need something like the, the DV10 uh, to do that. But they, they are, as you can see, fantastic, beautiful devices to use. You, and the, the only way to really get the most out of scanners like this is to really learn about frequencies and what frequencies are about. And in the UK, most people use uh, Radio Reference UK and in the USA it's Radio Reference USA and they're both fantastic and they provide thousands and thousands of frequencies for about £10 a year. You know, it doesn't cost much and you get all those frequencies. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. You can see we've got some, you can change all the step here. You can change the span 
And um, what's that? It looks like that's probably my, yeah, it's probably my hotspot there. So I think that is, but not coming through. There's another big signal there now. But thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Lots of videos to follow. 7-3, all the best.